So today we're going to be going over how I stole an eight figure trading strategy and made it my own using chat GPT and trading view and all of this in less than two hours. So before we do that, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. So the strategy we're going to be building today is going to be a mean reversion strategy, also known as the capitulation trade made popular by Lenz Breinstein, which made over eight figure for multiple years in a row. People always ask me, how do you know he never provided broker statement and so on and so forth. First, I know people that trade at the same firm and they also confirm whatever he said online. So let's jump into the first example and then we'll break down the code. So what we have over here is just a stock Nvidia that's not really more in play than any other day but on this particular day we have a pretty big down move then we break the low and we really really accelerate to the downside and the white bar that you see over here are called range expansion bar and this is going to be really important for what we're looking for and what we also see from this indicator is that the volume is starting to change color as the volume bar increase. So these parameters are gonna be really important for what we're trying to achieve, which is catch the bottom of a big move so we get a nice bounce and be able to make money with that trade. So let's jump into the second example over here. What we saw is that we finally break the lower day. And over here, we have this really big range expansion bar on really high volume. And then we have over here, another big range expansion bar on high volume. And this marks a bit of a bottom over here that you can catch a pretty nice bounce. And when we're trading, we're only trying to catch a certain part of the leg. You can't really catch everything. And this is what it's supposed to help you with. And now let's jump into our last good example. And we can see over here that we had a range. Stocks is not doing much. Now we're starting to get these big range expansion bar and we capitulate to the downside and we're able to catch a move to the upside. So if we open this pine editor over here, we're gonna see the actual code and we'll make it just a little bigger so it's easier to read and we can see we're using the version 5 even if they updated using chat gpt you're going to be able to adjust it depending on when you're looking for this but the prompt started with this i was listening to a video i made about lance and his type of trading strategy that he talks about the capitulation or how to really you know take advantage or which one are more important and so on and so forth so that being said um what i did is i went into chat gpt while i was walking so forget about the typo because there's a lot in that i want to write an indicator that would color the volume bar red when the volume bar is 2x the average of the past 20 minutes so it gave me a basic script and I went over there after and I improved it. And we're going to be looking at the latest version that I have, which I think it works really well. So the indicator over here is called capitulation overlay is going to be true. And then what's important is the current range high and low. This is going to be for the candle that's happening at the moment. So then after we create here over here is an average. This is going to be super, super important because if you feel that you're using a different time frame and it doesn't trigger enough or it triggers too much, this is going to be one of the value that you will need to adjust. So this is going to be the average range. So how many bars you're looking for this? So are you looking for 15 bars prior or 20 bars or 30 bars? I felt like 15 was pretty good for the type of stock that I trade. By the way, if you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. I also did link all the best tools for day trading and investing and the link to this indicator if you're looking to download it. So let's get back to the video. So then we go to the next over here bar and I'm looking for something at about a 1.5 is average size of a bar. So when we close this over here and we look at these, we can see that they're gonna be about 1.5 times the average of the 15 prior bar. And this is what we're trying to achieve. And as I mentioned, if you think it's triggering too much or not enough, you gotta be able to play with this and go back to a chart that you like and really adjust it. And I added some variable. It was showing a lot of stuff in the pre and post market. For example, the first bar of the day was always bigger than the pre-market action. So that was always triggering the indicator, which was a mistake. It shouldn't happen because there's no really big range bar. It's just the first bar of the day. So over here, I see that it starts at 9.59. I don't want it to really trigger before that because this strategy is not gonna happen before this, if it does, it's just like a morning flush, which is not typically what I'm looking for. 
and then I want it to end at 359 because I don't want it to trigger in the after hour. This is not for that. So after that, over here, we just pretty much color the indicator and we just set it on the chart. And this is what it looks like for the bar. So over here, this is the one um, you can change the bar color or the actual visibility. Like if you want it more transparent, less flashy or something like that. But as I mentioned, what's really important over here is this value, the 15 and the 1.5. If you want to adjust the indicator, this is where you would do it. But that's only for the first one. So now we're going to be jumping into the second indicator because it's a package of two and it's going to be the volume. So over here, we can see that we have different color bar for different type of volume size. And as Lance mentioned, when something is really capsulating, the volume is really going to increase because pu people are puking out or liquidating their position and this is what we're looking for these big big spike in volume so over here what i have is a pretty weird way of doing this indicator so really pay attention to this section otherwise it's going to be a complete waste of time that you listen to the prior part of this video so this started with the same prompt right looking for the volume around the 10 last bar this is what i felt was the best when i look at like a hundred chart or like a hundred example this was good and then i want the volume to be 1.3 i try to make this bigger or like a higher percentage of the bar so like example of 1.8 then i go update and then i close it but i felt like it wasn't really triggering so over here what you really need to do is you need to go into this little thing and then you're going to need to change the size. It's going to be really important if you want the indicator to show up. Otherwise, it's not going to show. The issue that it has is this indicator, I can code it as volume. But with TradingView, when you code an indicator as volume, it doesn't sync to the bottom of the page. So there's always a gap. So you get like gap about this big between the volume and the bottom and there's no way of fixing it which is super annoying so what i did is just create a volume bar that's just technically wider and a different color so we can see it under the volume so the issue you're going to encounter and i'll just remove it to show you the issue that you will get when you implement this indicator so you're going to be able to download the code from the link down in the description so we're going to click over here volume calculation and what we have over here is an indicator but this is the issue and this is the gap that i'm talking about you can see over here there's a big space and it's super annoying uh, when you have like a space at the bottom for absolutely no reason so what you're going to need is a normal volume and over here what you're going to do is go over here then move existing pan above. And as you can see, now there's an issue with the margin over here. So what you need to do is right click and say merge all scale into one and it's going to be on the right. So now we can see that the indicator is just below this one and it's currently sync um, over here on the right. When this is done, the next thing you're going to do is make it bigger. You can choose the width that you want or anything like that. If you don't put it bigger, what's going to happen is you're not going to see it. So over here, what you need is just to click over here and then make it bigger. So then it highlights overall the bar on the outside. So this is really how you set it up. Normally, if you do everything I just mentioned, it's going to be totally fine. And I'll just put the code in the description as mentioned. So thanks again. Peace.